Assalamu alaikum all. Welcome back to Map Academy Show, episode 10. 10 Instagram marketing strategies. My name is Zainab Buffer, a digital marketing instructor, a business coach, and an entrepreneur. I help you sell your products online. So let's just get into this episode. I'm really excited for this episode because everybody is asking. I've been selling, I've been posting on Instagram, buying a salmon customers. I've been posting, I've been posting, buy likes, buy comments. I don't know what to do. This, I, I need followers, I need customers. Chill. I'll be breaking down three steps, three tips, sorry, on how you can actually sell your market on Instagram easily. So now, number one tip is know your target audience. I know I've been saying target audience, target audience in almost all the episodes. This is really important. So if you are targeting the right the wrong audience, nobody will buy. Kamankaji kana ihum me zanchi. Kamarkaji gurum footballers. Kaji kana say that kana 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 chiwa sa se jakasa se takal mumata. It's totally like you are literally wasting your time because so but in that particular audience channel the right audience sell to the right people now what i want you to do on instagram is go to your insight check your insight under audience check your audience section who are your target audience their location their gender and even their age are they really your target audience do you understand? Go to your insight and check that. If Bahaka Bani, then you really have to channel your target audience. Like that is one of the main reasons why people are not buying from you on Instagram. Number two, number two tip to consider is don't be an aggressive seller. Yes, we always, always, always want to post, 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 post. I can't wait posting that I'm It doesn't happen like that. Instagram. There is one thing with, Insta- with, with Instagram. It's not a platform where you just be posting all the time. It's a kind of relationship platform. You need to create a relationship with you, between you and your audience. You need to have that relationship, the kind of key, the followers in key. If you are not connecting with your followers, then what are you doing? What are you doing? So don't be an aggressive seller. What I mean here is, don't be posting your products all the time. You have to be a content creator on Instagram. You have to create content. What kind of content? For ex- you have to be a content creator. For example, now, um, my other page on Instagram, like I did with skincare, if I want to actually practice this tip, I will not be posting about my products all the time. What I will be doing is I'll be micro blogging. I will be even maybe have my own blog, at, um, another website, and then try to be telling, talking about skincare tips, health tips, beauty tips, and all that. Give them that value. Let my followers know that yes, I know so much about skincare. Like I know everything. Like not everything basically, but I know so much about skincare that I can, that I can share. So if I build that trust between me and my followers and then i introduce one of my products they will buy because they'll be like yes this girl she knows skincare a lot so i believe this product is going to work do you understand let me set another example there is this page i i, I came across isa cuisines i don't know concerning maybe my you are listening to this isa cuisines page on instagram is bomb like i love the way she creates her content she's a food blogger she's a food scientist and all that she creates recipes she has a youtube channel so she creates her recipes when she creates the the recipes she puts them on instagram like 30 seconds one minute and then she'll ask you to go and watch the remaining recipes on on whatsapp or on sorry on youtube or she'll even create a mini version of that the complete recipe and post with that she's engaging with her audience her audience will be like yes she knows what she's doing and yes day before yesterday i saw she i saw she made a post on her ramadan classes people and people alhamdulillah i think people are subscribing uh people are actually paying for the for the classes because why these are her recipes like live recipes she was she she was the original um creator of the recipes so when she says come let me teach you how to cook 
you go you follow because what you you have that trust you know that yes she knows what she's doing i hope you understand this kind of a scenario that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give you so don't just post 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 about your products let your followers know something about you let them know that yes you know what you're doing and you can like you know so much about your products so that is that about number tip number two tip number three don't post too much yes this is in connection with tip number two do not post too much at times you tend to post 10 pictures at a time on instagram don't do that why because you not get that engagement you want if you post too much you're just wasting your data so don't do that post at least three times a day or two times a day that is just the list please save your data <clears throat> quantity make it sure quality over quantity sorry a quality over quantity so let your content be valuable let the type of content has so much value even if it is one post a day let it be of value to your followers rather than posting 10 5 at a time mm -mm. this is a no no good tip number four give discounts and do giveaways like often maybe uh, after two months three months do giveaways give out discounts of your products like do something to give back to your followers number five build a relationship with your followers a lot of a lot of us don't actually care about our followers which is wrong people are following for a reason so appreciate them please appreciate them by liking their pictures also commenting on their posts or if they or if they comment on your post or like their post thank them just show your appreciation communicate build that relationship with them don't just leave oh yes i have 1000 comments damn and you won't see anything you won't like any person's comment this is wrong and is rude so build a good relationship with your followers tip number six add price tag to your post this is another important tip stay through to tip number 10 because it's really is the most important out of all these tips so i know this episode is going to be long so let's just continue tip number six add price tags to your post a lot of us don't do that and I know because there's some are even some are shy to tell the price. Some are I don't know. Some might think the price is high, and then they don't want to say it publicly so that someone will say, I don't want to price and take If you are really serious about what you do, what you do, please put price tag. Take for instance, when you go to stores or malls, I can't call an item in a store. A quick price tag adjective. You don't have to go to the uh, um, shelf and be asking or over the counter and be asking how much is how much is this. Send us like a price tag just for what? Just to make it easier for you to see if you can buy it or not, to see if you can afford it or not. So also Instagram. Instagram is just like your sh online shop. So treat it as one. Put price on every product you post. Even if you post that product, maybe um, you are trying to repost the product. I beg put price tag because the moment someone sees that then that person will be yes so this is the amount i can afford it oh no i cannot afford it it's as simple as that please stop hiding the price it doesn't make sense and the one annoying thing we always do on instagram is in an item pay price then you'll be like check your dm or send me a dm how rude is that who are you what's the ego for who are you doing a fizzy for you are here to sell so why are you asking me to to send you a dm or just because i asked you for the price give me the answer or put the price tag on your post just to save this uh useless conversation <laughs> it's so annoying so please guys be putting price tags on your posts tip number seven Create on engaging content. Yes, I've explained this in, I think, tip number two. Like, don't be an aggressive seller. And I give even examples of my page and Isa Cuisine. Creative content. Something that is, something that would let your, audi or your audience know that, yes, you know what you're doing. And people will even follow you for a good reason. 
people will follow you for a good reason and even refer you to others yes she's making this kind of content i love her page her page is entertaining her page is educative or her page is informative like just do something let your content be either informative creative entertaining or convincing like just create good content please not just post your product buy me buy me buy me buy me mm -mm, please let's just create a good content tip number eight use the right hashtags yes at times i don't like hashtags hashtags at, at times i do like hashtags i have my reasons but for that but it's good also to use hashtags on your products who do you want your products to reach who what kind of group of people do you want to see your product so create hashtags for your product if you want to post um textile like a tampa you can see hashtag textiles your location hashtag um everywhere weddings hashtag i should be bella hashtag ankara styles you know all those hashtags related to that particular product like you are targeting that particular kind of people so just create few hashtags let's say three to five hashtags on each post and every product should have different hashtags not just one hashtag at the same time no every product should have its own hashtag so make your hashtag research and then include that in your posts tip number nine post at the right time yes this is very 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 important posting at the right time when you post at the right time that is when you have so much engagement on your post that is when you will reach so many people for example now in nigeria the right time to post is early in the morning early in the morning let's say seven to nine yes is a good time for you to post at that time and then after maghrib let's see come seven then shima to nine to ten like needed from my own experience this is the best time i think is that this is the best time i think for you to post if you're in nigeria every um country every time zone have their own different best times to post so if you're in nigeria try this early morning and then after maghrib time to be posting your um to be making your post on instagram because that is when many people are online early in the morning kawaii tashi kawaii and she and the first app that duba is instagram so people will come across your post and then after Maghrib also, and now the Aiki Angaji, the Andari, Barat, and Dubawaya, the same thing. So mostly the Rana people are not online that much, the Rana. So the percentage of people in the day that come early in the morning is much more higher than that, the Rana. So take advantage of the right time and make your post. Now, to number 10, which I said is the most important on this list. Do a collab. Collaborate. This is really important collaboration over competition this is really really important now if depending on kind of industry you are look for someone don't look at them as competitors try and collaborate with them even if you are eyeing that person try and collaborate with that person look for someone within your niche in your industry in your own segment in your own market to collaborate with make a post together make an ig live together make um stories together like tag each other refer each other share each other's posts and all that just kind of collaborate with each other with that you'll be transferring your audiences you'll be growing your audience again so this is really really important and very vital for you try and collaborate collaboration over competition see your competitors as collaborators as partners not as competitors please this is 21st century and you know look at your competitors your competitors as inspiration learn from them grow together and just if you if you if you have someone that you really want to collaborate or partner with slide into their dm that is just the first step to take slide into the idm salam alaikum so, so, so. my name is so, so i do this i believe we're in the same um the same niche do you mind uh collaboration in the future like just start a conversation be chill be cool then before you know it that will fire collaborations that will fire a partnering and it's going to help your business a lot 
so guys to wrap it up this is the end of this episode 10 10 tips for instagram marketing strategies so i hope you've learned one or two things and i hope you implement these tips not that no when you learn something try and implement it that is when you are doing something that is when you came up with funny take action don't be among the 19 percent of people that will not take action after learning something be the one percent of people that will take action change your life change your business grow your business just keep hustling bye bye see you in episode 11 inshallah